You were pretty scathing about Boris Johnson last night and his, and his uh, honesty, uh, but am I right in thinking from what you've said that you would be sticking fairly closely to the 2019 manifesto yes. on which Boris Johnson was elected? Yes, you are. You are right in that. That's exactly what I do. And by the way, some of the other things I'd be sticking to and making sure we delivered is Brexit, because what Boris has done is he's got most of Brexit done. Let's be honest, there's Northern Ireland still, and that's a really big issue. Let's not kid ourselves that that's going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. So we're going to need to do two things. The first thing is we've got to pass the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill, which you know, we've all supported. The next thing we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we change the way these negotiations are done. Now, the Europeans have been messing around with us here. They played for time with Theresa, and they basically kicked it in the long grass with Boris, pointing fingers at him. What we need to do is point the finger back at them. Do you know that they treated East Germany when it was part of... Uh, the Soviet bloc better than they treat Northern Ireland now. Now, you're not going to tell me honestly that the standards of food or, you know, welfare in the Soviet bloc were better than they are in the UK today. We were in the EU six years ago. Come on, this is ridiculous. So we need to reset this debate. We need to actually be starting to make this argument in Germany, in France, in Italy, all over the place. Because people in Europe agree with us. People in Europe want to work with us. What we've got a problem with is Brussels. Now, I see in the papers some of the commentators are sort of <coughs> like they're agitating for a general election. Would you be going for a general election or would you be waiting until 2024? Look, not until we're ready. And I don't think we would be ready until 2024. Would, I don't think or we won't be. I, I would be astonished. Absolutely astonished. I mean... But you wouldn't crumble to the demands of some of the media no, wanting a general election. No, 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 no. Look, forgive me, Est and Philip. You, you were both elected on the same mandate as I was to serve the communities in Tatton and Shipley and me in Tunbridge on a five-year mandate. That's what we were elected to do. We weren't elected to play politics with those election timetables. What we were elected to do was to deliver, and that's what we're going to do. So if I were, when I'm the leader, let's be positive, when, I, when, when I'm leading this great party and as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, there is absolutely no need to go for an early election. What there is a need to do is to deliver. And that's why we need a clean start and actually return the government to serving our people. Who's your team? Do. Have you got your team? I'm looking at them. <laughs> oh, see how he's winning. Hello. Those, Hello. See, he wants those votes to see what he's doing. Do. I, know. I know, but by gaining our two votes, he's lost a load of others. If he's thinking, about <laughs> involved, of, it. If he's thinking of, of involving it. me. But I take it what you said, you'd be happy to serve in the cabinet of any of the other remaining candidates I think in, the, yeah, in, the, in, I thought, in the contest. I mean, you know, I think there are some fantastic people who are running, and I think there are some fantastic people who could really make a huge presence felt in, in, in Cabinet now. You know, I think there are some really impressive people in our party. And if, I think, frankly, Labour have been letting us down. I mean, you just spoke about Rochdale, Telford again. That's a Labour council for, what, 40 odd years? You know, Labour are letting us down. The SNP are failing in hospitals and schools in Scotland. The Lib Dems, God knows where they are. They're all over the place. You know, we need a Conservative government. We need a Conservative victory in 2024. I think I'm best placed to deliver I, it. And I've lost my bet because I said that you, we could go, we we're going to do an interview without you mentioning that you were in the army and you did actually mention it when you referred to Penny Mordant. <laughs> oh, no, I said I'm I lost my, I've literally lost my, I've literally lost my, I can't I believe saw, I said I was <laughs> But I've won the bet, so I'm happy. Everyone's You've happy. lost his vote, you might have got mine because yeah, 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 I, because uh, yeah. I, I won the bet. Anyway, the best of luck on Monday. We wish you all the very best and thank, thank you, you for, thank you for joining us, it's Tom. It's a great pleasure we, to see we, you. We appreciate it.